Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to pay our, our teachers like college-educated professionals, so let's at least give them the glorified babysitter rate. At $10 an hour times 8 hours a day, you're at $80. 80 times 25 students in each class, and you're at $2,000. 2,000 times 180 days in a school year, you're up to $360,000 of earned salary each year. Now, although this sounds great, what isn't great is the current state of education in our country. In fact, we're in a crisis. Some of the biggest causes of that crisis are, one, that quality teachers aren't coming and they're not staying in education. Two, our teachers are distracted. And three, our students are not performing internationally. Now, these things don't just hint at. They scream that we need to be paying teachers more if we want to change in education. So first, quality teachers aren't coming and they're not staying in education. A recent study done by McKinsey and Company found that in countries like Singapore, Finland, and South Korea, they draw 100% of their teachers from their top third of their graduating classes. In the United States, however, we're only bringing 23% of our teachers from that same third. So what does that mean? It means that those, the current state and the benefits of being a teacher right now in the United States do not incentivize those top graduates to come pursue a career in education. And in fact, those students that perform the least in college are now the teachers instructing our students today. So it's easy for us to sit back, get frustrated and confused with the way education runs today. But it's a lot harder to actually show that we value it. And the way we do it is by how much money we're willing to give to it. So if we really care about change in education and improvement, sounds like we need to put our money where our mouth is. If we were to dedicate more money to education, to pay our teachers more, either those ones that are there will improve their practices, or new ones will enter the field and will take their spot. Second, our teachers are distracted. A recent study found that teachers are five times more likely than other professionals to hold a second job. What does that mean? It means that our teachers are busy doing something else when they could be improving our education. Teachers are paid nine months out of the year for eight hours a day. Well, what we found is that what if they could be paid for 12 months out of the year? What kinds of things could they do? I had a, a middle school English teacher who picked cherries during the summer. What if he could have been collaborating with other teachers? What if he could have been developing other curriculums? What if he could have been receiving higher education? I know my class would have been better that year. So a lot of times we treat people at a level and they start to fall there. That's what happens. When we start to treat people away, they start to become that. And right now we're treating teachers at a very low, low level. And frankly, they're starting to fall there. Third, our students are not performing internationally. A recent test, test found that internationally we rank 24th in science, 24th in reading, and 38th in math. If we're supposed to be a leader in the world, how can we educate our students like this? It's not going to provide those results in the future. And it's less about what we're paying our teachers and more about the quality education we want to give our students and our children. So the funding for education comes from local, state, and federal taxes in, in the government. And there's actually a lot of it coming from the local level. So what does that mean for me and for you? It means we have a bigger influence than we think. I'm looking right now at college students at one of the top universities in the nation. You're those that will make a difference in the future. So what can you do? If you actually want to see change in education, what, what can I do? And we can say yes to improved education when we do certain things. So we say yes to education when we vote yes on initiatives that are aimed at improving education, whether that means we have to invest a little bit of money in taxes or not. We say yes to education when we teach our children to respect their educators. And we do the same in the way that we talk to them and we treat them. We say yes to education when we find out what's going on behind those doors of those elementary schools and those high schools. So it's easy as a, as a nation to look at our budget and say, you know what, we just can't afford, we, we can't afford to add more money to education. As a state, we'll look at the budget and we say, we can't give another dollar. We just can't afford to pay more in education. As a citizen in the community, it's normal to say, honestly, I don't think I can afford to pay more money towards education. But I hope you'll join me in saying that we can't afford to sit back 
and allow our education system to deteriorate while not properly compensating its primary influencer, its teacher. Thank you.